Hey, what is up guys? My name is Josiah, and welcome back to another edition of my Modern House tutorial series. Now, the house I'll be building today is fairly large with its two-floor design and multiple room layout. In addition, the house comes with some unique features such as its overhanging carports at the sides of the driveway and large skylight at the top level. So without any further ado, let's get right into building it. Now first up, we'll lay out the foundation of the house. So let's start that by laying out a 16 long by 8 wide ring of grey concrete blocks. Then we will add another section to the foundation at the front. So let's first remove the middle four blocks of this row of concrete and then extend out four blocks at the ends of these points that connect together. So now that we have the foundation in place, let's next replace the grass within this area with more grey concrete. Next with the floor in place, we will now add some columns on top of the foundation. So let's start that by placing 6 stone slabs at each of the outer corners of the foundation so the columns are 3 blocks tall. And then at the back row, let's add a couple more of these stone slab columns that are parallel with the front two ones. So now with the columns in place, we will next add in the walls of the house between them using white concrete blocks. Then with all the walls up, let's next cover over the top layer here with white concrete as well for the second level's flooring. Next up we will add the second level to the house, so let's start that how we did with the first floor by adding in a layer of grey concrete around the outer edges of these walls. Then on top of the grey concrete, let's add 4 stone slabs at each spot where we placed the last ones, 
and then we can also fill in the space between them with white concrete for the walls like we did for the first floor. Next we'll cover over the second floor and add in the roof, so let's start that by adding another layer of white concrete on top of the walls and over the house. And then along the top row of the white concrete we just placed, let's add an upside down quartz stairs that wrap around the house. Now with the roof in place, we will next add in a skylight to it. So at the center part of the roof, let's add in a square like shape of oak slabs which has sides that are 4 blocks long, and then we will add slabs at the inner corners of it so it becomes circular. And then with this shape of oak slabs laid down, let's next remove the white concrete within this area and replace it with black stained glass blocks. Next up we will add the doors and windows to the house, so let's start by adding the front door at this middle section using two oak doors. Then we will add a bunch of 2x2 two two windows of black stained glass panes around the house, so simply follow along as to where I place each one of them. Now with the windows in place, we will next add in the driveway and walkway at the front of the house. So let's start by adding 8 stone bricks into the ground at both ends of the house. Now 
then at the ends of this front wall, let's also add out another four stone bricks into the ground. So now with these stone bricks in place, let's replace the middle section of grass here with stone slabs and the outer two sections with stone blocks. Next we will add a layer of white concrete around the house, so below this top layer of grey concrete let's extend a layer of white concrete blocks around the house. Then we'll add an overhanging section of concrete above the driveway which will serve as carports. So at the front sides of the house, let's extend out the ends of the white concrete layers so they connect up and then we can fill in the space between them. Now below this overhang we will add in some supporting beams, so follow along as to where I place these oak fences. So now that we have these overhangs at each side of the driveway complete, let's next add bushes around the sides of the driveway and house using leaf blocks. Then to decorate the house a bit, I'll add some flower pots along the walkway here with saplings in them. And then also below the top three windows, let's add in a couple oak slabs with flower pots and flowers on top of them, and then that will finish up the exterior of the house. Now as for what you want in the interior of the house, I'll leave that entirely up to you guys, but as always I'll quickly show you how I decorated mine as an example. But that is going to be all for this Modern House tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd love to hear all your feedback and don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed as that would be much appreciated. And with all that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later guys, bye bye.